I'm Courtney and I'm going to show you guys how to make what I like to call the fur stitch. Uh, so I have two strands of embroidery floss threaded onto a needle. I have my stitch and I have my pre-framed fabric. So all I'm going to do is use this trick of holding the end of the thread, wrapping it around my needle a few times, holding that wrapped section and pulling it all the way through to create a knot at the end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go up here and then you're just going to want to create a stitch away and then come back and go beside the other stitch and you just kind of want to give the effect of fur and you kind of want to make all of these stitches the same length and running in the same direction so you can come back up between these two make another stitch and continue on like that adding dimension and always kind of running in the same direction and as you fill in this space you don't have to be too precise about it. You just kind of want to make sure that all the stitches create a directional flow that mimics the fur of whatever you are stitching. Uh, when working on animals, I like to run from the legs up to the body or from the tail down to the body. I like to do these extremities first and then fill in the body after. So you can just keep expanding it as you go. It will start to look like fur. Just keeping all the stitches running in the same direction coming up between stitches to fill in the areas. If you have any open spots in your work that you see, you can just add another stitch right on top. You don't have to be too precise about this. You just wanna make sure that you're filling in the space and that it's giving the effect of fur. And there you have it, the fur stitch. Now all we're gonna do is knot it at the back pull through. I like to make two knots in the back of my work to make sure it doesn't come unraveled at all. And you can also get these pieces here. Ta-da!